National Urban League presents Emerging Voices from the Pandemic. Students speak out. Across the United States, students like me were able to tell our stories about learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. Connected students asked the questions while disconnected and reconnected students shared their lived experiences. There's a lot to learn from us. Are you ready? True stories, real students, useful recommendations. How was distance learning like uh, when you first started like uh, learning online through Zoom? When I first started learning online, I felt really disconnected because really all we had were just some really thick packets that the teachers had made. Um, and a tutor that checked up on us like every week, but they were mostly staff, so they didn't really help us with the subjects. So I felt like my education was at a pause. What was your life uh, before COVID? Before COVID, my life was pretty chill. I was doing a bunch of um, AP classes and extracurriculars. Was it ever stressful to try to balance all those um, activities at the same time? I think it was only stressful um, in the fall when I was just starting to try out all the different activities because they didn't really balance out um, in terms of time management. So I had really a lot of trouble at the beginning of the year, but then later on it got easier. Were you in any extracurriculars now? Um, at the beginning of like 2020, I was because a lot of the extracurriculars moved online, but I didn't really find them to be as interesting as in person. And all of the activities that we were doing um, didn't really work online. So I kind of lost motivation and dropped most of them. What do you think teachers could do better during COVID to help the students be more engaged? I think they could really just have patience with us because a lot of us are motivated, especially at home. But I also think they could increase like participation in their classes. So like more interactive assignments or classes where they call on us and they have us participate. And especially just making sure that we're actually learning. Yeah, I think with students, since we're usually in pods of 30, during like in-person learning, it was easier because there was more people to ma manage and it was easier to be one-on-one. -on -one. But what Zoom has failed to do is go one-on-one -on -one with some of the students and make sure that we're learning and checking up on everyone uh, specifically, uh, instead of just focusing on people who are doing bad. Yeah. Um, it's more important to kind of like keep in check, whereas Zoom has kind of led everyone to be in one area and just learn from a screen, you know? I think what could have made Zoom better was if the teachers had actually used the breakout room feature. Yeah. Because then we would be in like little pods of students where we could help each other instead of just sitting down and listening to a lecture the entire time. I think what was most difficult though was when it was like 
tougher classes like physics or like AP class classes because they require more learning and like um, it requires more dedication to it. And I feel like some of the teachers lacked on um, giving all the students all the materials that they needed or the education that was provided to years before. Definitely. Especially with like the science and the math classes where the lessons build on each other. Yeah. Like if we weren't paying attention on one lesson, it puts us off for the rest of the unit. The education felt empty and it, it was more of like, it was just there for the grade to help us maintain our GPA. Yeah, for sure. Especially with the pass or fail thing that they added. The way I understand it, pass and fail, they gave us, we were working through the second semester where our, we worked through two units and they basically just marked anyone that was above a C to say, oh, well, you passed the class. It wasn't really about maintaining a grade, but more about just passing the class and maintaining that GPA. And really, like, it kind of wasted our, our education and our hard work too, because it, all the hard work that we had done in quarter three uh, just kind of went to waste with the pass or fail, because it didn't really affect our GPA either. How was your social circle? Did you have anyone you could rely on? What was that like? Um, I feel that my friends are really supportive in everything I do and like emotionally too, they really helped me through it. Um, but I especially relied on my mom because she supports me emotionally. Um, she helps me through breakdowns and everything and she keeps me going. And in regards to teachers, I felt like I could talk to them, but I really relied more on the counselors. Um, as far as the teachers, I really didn't feel like they were there. Even like emailing them or having some kind of connection was kind of difficult. Um, for some reason, it was harder to keep in communication with them than it was before. Is there anyone that's helping you get college ready at school during COVID? The people who have especially helped me out are the 12th grade counselors who are like, uh, who specialize in helping us get to college and make the transition easier. So that would be like Ms. Rojas and Mr. Zane. And I really like talking to them because they're not just helping us, but they're also like uh, supporting us emotionally because like, Whenever I go in there into the Zoom with them, I feel really happy, really relaxed because they make the process easier and they make actual conversation with us. Especially because like, they send out an, an online newsletter where we can find different links to a bunch of different scholarships. We can find the link to their Zoom and like office hours that we can join um, for anything that we need. Yeah, they really help us. Did you talk to them just about college or like school in general? Honestly, about everything. Like I know sometimes they have, they helped us like one-on-one -on -one with the college applications. Sometimes we could just go to talk about our problems. And sometimes we would just have random conversations about chicken tenders and ice cream. Like it was really fun. And it made us comfortable with them too. What are your dreams for the future? Um, I hope to go to college. I got accepted at UC Davis, so that's where I'm going. Well, I'm probably going to stay there for eight years and try to get my doctorates in veterinary science. And throughout those four years, I hope to meet new people, probably join some clubs, some sports, and just try to travel as much as I can. What or who is helping you reach your goals? What's helping me get there is like the illusion that I have of being there and like finally being in a new place and being independent and being happy on my own. And the people helping me get there are my parents and my friends who I know that I can confide in and that will support me.